entrance antiphon, a great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. Good morning. Mass, the special attention for today's Mass this morning is for Edmund Brignac. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred. reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Sing and rejoice, O daughter Zion. See, I am coming to dwell among you, says the Lord. Many nations shall join themselves to the Lord on that day, and they shall be his people, and he will dwell among you. And you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. The Lord will possess Judah as his portion in the Holy Land, and he will again choose Jerusalem. Silence all mankind in the presence of the Lord, for he stirs forth from his holy dwelling. The word of the Lord. You are the highest honor of our race. Blessed are you, daughter, by the Most High God, above all women on earth, and blessed be the Lord God, the Creator of heaven and earth. Your deed of hope will never be forgotten by those who tell of the might of God. Blessed are you, Holy Virgin Mary, deserving of all praise. For you, from you, rose the Son of Justice, Christ our Lord. 
Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste, to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth, when Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me? that the mother of my Lord should come to me. For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord will be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. The Gospel of the Lord. And how does this happen that the mother of my Lord should come to me? These are the words of Elizabeth to Mary in today's gospel. And these are kind of the feeling that I felt when I looked at the church calendar and saw that we were celebrating another feast day in honor of our Blessed Mother. Just this past week we had the Immaculate Conception. Now today, Our Lady of Guadalupe. And indeed, these words were most fitting for Elizabeth because she was filled with joy. And John the Baptist in her womb was filled with leaping with joy as well because Mary was bringing to them the salvation of the world, our Savior, Jesus. I think something similar to these same words Juan Diego had to be feeling at the revelation of Our Lady of Guadalupe to him. In the 16th century, we have the records of a poor Indian man who was baptized and given the name Juan Diego. He was 57, year old, 57 years old and a widower. And he lived in a small village near Mexico City. On one Saturday morning, he was on his way to Mass to honor the Blessed Virgin Mary. And as he was walking near a hill called Tepeyac, he heard beautiful music, which sounded like the singing of birds. Then a radiant cloud appeared and in the cloud stood an Indian maiden dressed like an Aztec princess. The lady spoke to him in his own native language and sent him to the Bishop of Mexico to ask the Bishop to build a chapel in the place where Juan Diego had seen the lady. Eventually the Bishop uh, disagreed and said, send a sign, tell the lady to give you a sign if I am to build a chapel. So, Almost immediately after Juan Diego asked for a sign, his uncle became ill, and he was a little bit discouraged, and from then on, uh, he tried to avoid seeing the lady again. But of course, our Blessed Mother found him, and assured him that his uncle would recover from his sickness, and she gave him uh, many roses to bring to the bishop, to hide his cape to bring to the bishop. Then on December 12th, when Juan Diego brought these roses to the bishop, he opened his cape, the roses fell, and on the inside of his cape was an image of the Blessed Mother as he had seen it appear near the hill at Tepeyac. Mary's appearance to Juan Diego and to his people was a powerful reminder that God and Mary appear to all with love for everyone. In this context, the, sometimes the Spanish uh, settlers were due were, were ill-treating Ill the um, Native Americans in that area, the Native uh, Indigenous people. But Mary, appearing to Juan Diego, gave him and his people consolation, that God loves you too. And in fact, some had converted before this appearance, but after, the records show that nine million soon converted after. This is a great message to all of us, that our Blessed Mother loves and cares for each one of us, that she brings the love of God, the message of God, of our salvation, Jesus, to all of us. In this time of hope, as we anticipate the coming of our Lord, we remember how powerful our Blessed Mother intercedes for us. Intercedes for us. We remember that this message of hope is for everyone, 
especially the poorest of the poor. And we're reminded to help get that message to those in need in our lives, and those we meet in the, in the marketplace and on the streets, to preach the message of Jesus when he comes again, when he comes at Christmas, and when he comes again to save the world. Gathered together as one body of Christ our Savior, we offer our God the following prayers and petitions. For vocations to the priesthood and religious life, may the Lord bless the church with committed men and women. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord God. For those elected by their people to govern and lead them, and for all who hold positions of authority, let us pray to the Lord. For all, who, for all who are alienated from their faith, may God bring upon them his faithful and healing presence. Let us pray to the Lord. For peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed forces wherever they serve our nation, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. Lord yes. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate in our archdiocese, let us pray to the Lord. Lord yes. Let us pause now to add our own intentions in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord God, we bring you these prayers and petitions closest to our hearts, to our world, and to our church. Through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, we offer them to you. For we know you hear and answer according to your love, who live and reign forever and ever. So you, Lord God, in all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, through the divine and work of human hands, you'll become our spiritual treasure. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O oh Lord, the gifts that we present to you on this feast day of our Lady of Guadalupe, and grant that this sacrifice may strengthen us to fulfill your commandments as true children of the Virgin Mary, through Christ our Lord. our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her, her thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to earth's ends you have done great things, and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, Shri, his assisting bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, dear Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our transgressions, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and make us not into the midst of the Lord Jesus Christ. Deliver us, O we pray, from every graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Communion antiphon, the Lord has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly.
accept, O Lord, the gifts we present to you on this feast of our Lady of Guadalupe, and grant that this, that this sacrifice may strengthen us to fulfill your commandments as true children of the Virgin Mary, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace and glorify the Lord by your life. Saint Michael, the Archangel, and his God, we are in protection against the wickedness and snares of hell. May God give you a humble prayer and you bow.